Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today we are talking Alima Pure Eyeshadows and they do have many. So we're gonna start off in the pressed shadow department and then I'll be doing a two part video on their loose pigments which are actually the shadows I have on my eyes today. Very big fan of them. Um, but we're getting there. Today it's all about the pressed, which I know we all love. And um, their pressed shadows are beautiful, come in very wearable, easy everyday shades. A little bit of pops of color, but not too much, so nothing overly intimidating. So I think it is a good starting point if you're looking to get some eyeshadows in your life. So something to note though when purchasing these eyeshadows is they come one of two ways. You can purchase the refill. The refill looks like this. It just, you know, just the regular eyeshadow like you popped it out of the pan. Um, so you could purchase something like a Z palette, which I'm a really big fan of, um, which is also nice because you can mix and match and create your own. Very good for traveling. However, if you are uh, a more simple lady, you just have a handful of shades, you don't really see the need for a Z palette, you can buy them in the compact, but there is quite a big price jump. The refill on its own is $18. In the compact, it is $26. So just something to keep in mind. Still perfectly usable in the little refill pan, um, but just a different, uh, less sort of glamorous setup, just so you guys know. Um, I will link Z palettes down below, talk about them all the time. Really good stuff, varying sizes and price points, which I will link down below, like I said. These shadows um, do contain 2.5 grams worth of product. They are completely vegan and gluten-free, and they come in 10 beautiful shades. Something that is nice about these little compacts is they come with a little mirror, so these are like very fancy, good quality ones if you do decide to go that route. But let me just stop talking about all the details and let's just get right into the colors. We have quite a few to swatch here. First up is the shade Zephyr. Now I'm kind of going lightest to darkest loosely, so there's no real method to the madness here. And uh, Zephyr is the lightest tone. It is a iridescent tone as well. It is a frosty white sort of shade, but it's not like so pigmented where it's stark and like scary. This one could be really nice for adding a little touch just underneath the brow bone to give a little highlight in the inner corner here for a little bit of highlight. Or if you like something a little more frosty, a little bit more white, that's not my favorite on my eyelid, but it does suit some people so beautifully. This would be a good down, good one to lay down on the lid. Soft, pigmented, and beautiful and gives a really nice even sheen. I could even imagine this being like a pretty highlight on the face for someone maybe a little more pale than me because it is very white as you can see so my nose might be like ping now so ignore that moving right along the next shade that we have here is mirage and mirage is just a really easy basic mid-tone color has a little bit more taupe than the one before but it does still have a uh, very slight iridescence. Not as iridescent as Zephyr. This one's more of a satin finish. That one's more shiny. But this is a good one just to block out the entire eye, put a matte easy shadow in the crease, and look like you really tried very hard. Um, but this is a good all over lid shade if you don't mind something a little bit more satiny and not like flat, flat matte. Next shade here we have is Isla. And Isla is beautiful. One of my more favorite shades, of course, because that champagne tone, again, has a little nice iridescence to it. Perfect for all over the lid. This is sort of like my everyday lid sort of shade. You can tap some glitter on it if you want um, or do something really intense in the crease and this will give you a nice contrast. Very, very good, easy, everyday wearable shade that I can see a lot of people liking as well as working on a multitude of different skin tones because it's not as frosty or pale as the other two tones. This one, of course, the classic, one of my favorites, it's in the shade Lux. Lux is their bronze, copper sort of shade. Really nice pigmentation on this one. It's not overly bright and intense. So if you want a good everyday eyeshadow that's going to pull out the eye color a little bit, give you a little something something, but isn't over the top and dramatic, this is a really good copper one to go for. Copper is so amazing on blue eyes because of that orange tone, it'll really make them pop. But this is one of those shades that looks good on everyone, any skin tone, any age. Anything you can imagine, this would be like the one from the collection that I would say uh, is the standout because that's just my kind of shade and you could do so many things with it. One shadow smoky eye, lay it down on the inner part of the eye like 
that's typically how I like to wear it. You can even put it in the inner, in the inner corner. It's not going to give like a very bright look, but it will draw the eye there. And I know it's very trendy right now to have a little color, boop, just right here and keep that very minimal look. So that's a good option. Next up, we have the shade Siren. Siren is a very beautiful purple shade. However, I think Siren um, is lacking on the pigment pigmentation department a little bit. If you want something very subtle, this could be a nice purple to just kind of put across the lid, but this one will take a little bit more building up than the other shades, which is typically how purple works. But what's cool about this, it has a really interesting shift to it that's very cool toned. So it looks very interesting once you do build it up on the lids. And of course it is a natural shadow, so all natural shadows, um, due to the nature of how they're formulated, can be used wet. And if you ever want to intensify pigment of any of your natural shadows, that is a very good way to do so. But this is a really good, easy, wearable purple which I think purple is pretty wearable but this is, has a very interesting tone to it if you're looking to experiment and play with some color then we have the shade icon icons a good another everyday very user-friendly sort of shade um, it is this taupe leaning a little bit more silver I will say shadow so though cool tones are not my favorite this one leans a little bit more neutral than the usual um, again a good one for every day a good one that you can utilize with a smoky eye one that I can see being used the same way Lux and a very and just very many different looks and something I will say about the Alima Pure shadows is that most of them are a satin finish or a more iridescent finish not so much of those flat mattes but they do have a lot of beautiful satin mattes in the loose pigment form which I will be sharing with you guys very shortly moving right along this one is actually one of the more interesting shades it's so pretty it's in the shade called dusk and dusk is such a neat shade because it's like a silvery um, dark charcoal color but it really has quite a bit of blue in it so if you were looking for something a little bit more interesting this is totally the one pigment on its beautiful blends like a dream I might want to do a nighttime look featuring this and maybe the cobalt pigment which I've worn as a liner before who I'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting excited but this is a very stunning shade if you're looking for something different that you could still incorporate in um, I don't want to say like natural looks, but you could do a smoky eye with this and it'll have a little something something, but it's not like bright, crazy color, but it's very unique. So if you have every single eyeshadow, I would be intrigued to know if you have one that's like that because that one is really, really something special. Next up, I have the shade Instinct. Instinct, another good neutral shade, which we love. This is a golden, bronzy, dark brown it's a dark brown that has a little bit more dimension to it we do have that little reflect of something like a copper kind of peering through a good one eyeshadow sort of look that i like or if you want something that's not very flat that can still give you definition this is a good one wet it use it as a liner um smoke out the outer edge with it it's a good dark brown shade that's not flat and boring it's got a little something something so i think there's always a place for that then we have the shade myth Myth is another cool shade. They actually have some pretty interesting shades in the mix here. Um, and the pigment on Myth is stellar, and it is this really cool, deep, dark green that has some dimension to it. This is a little bit more kick up in the pan, so do make sure you're knocking off the brush when you go ahead and apply it. Um, but this is very interesting as well because it has a yellow, golden shift to it. Oh, it's so pretty. Green is another one of those colors where if it's dark enough and the tone is neutral enough, it really can be quite wearable. And this is no exception. Finally, we have the shade Phantom and Phantom is the good classic deep dark brown. It's like a Sappho Jono, really gorgeous pigment on this. Use it for anything you like. Smoking out the outer corner. This is the only one that's really truly matte in my personal opinion, um, but use it for liner. Use it to smoke something out. Use it all over the lid. Go wild with this one. If you don't have a good deep dark brown, this is a good one because it's pigmented, it's blendable, and it's not overly warm or cool. It's a really nice neutral tone that would work with any eye look you decide to put on the mug. All right, you guys, so that's it. All 10 shades shared. Um, I know we all are very much excited about Alima Pure. I wanted to also say thank you guys. The, the tutorial I did 
um, using all Alima Pure products was very well received. So I'm going to make sure to link that down below so you guys can see some of these products in action along with some other Alima Pure products. What from Alima Pure would you like to see me review next? I am wearing their brow pencil today, which I've been kind of into. You know, pencils aren't usually my favorite, but the color on this one is right and has a very uh, soft powdery sort of look in the brow, which I love. It's not a stiff waxy texture. So let me know if you want to see a review on that or maybe compare it to some other brow pencils in the Integrity Botanicals arsenal. Also let me know what your favorite shadow of the Alima Pure Press shadows are. Like I said, 18 bucks or 26 in the compact. Your call. I will have both options linked down below along with a full ingredients list, swatches, the whole shebang. You know I don't leave you guys hanging. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Check out all the links, things I include down below for you to check out, research, dive a little deeper, figure out if these are the press shadows for you. If not, I'll leave some more press shadow videos that I've swatched. Um, quite a few of them now these days um, in the description box down below, as well as all of our social media. I would love to see you guys there. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.